Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are reading One Piece chapter 1062. Uh, obviously in the last chapter, uh, well, two week break of course, um, but we had the reveal of Vegapunk, or as a lot of people were theorizing, this could be one of um, uh, a few Vegapunks, as it is said on her jacket, Vegapunk or Punk 2, I believe. Um, so I guess we'll see if that, that is the case. It's definitely possible. Um, considering for all this time we've we have known Vega Monk to be a dude, um, so I guess well, I guess we'll see. There could be many uh, options for how this is going down. Um, but yeah, excited for this chapter. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this chapter right now. Obviously, like always, with when these chapters come out at this time, it is 4 a.m. in uh, the UK right now. So I did just wake up. That's why I look very tired. Um, yeah, front cover, chapter 1062, Adventure in the Land of Science. Interesting. Uh, Germa 66's Cold-Blooded Voyage, Volume 20. Meanwhile, in Chocolate Town on Kakao Island. Uh, everywhere's frozen, it looks like. What happened here? I forgot. Okay. Um, page one. Vegapunk? The Vegapunk? What a fracas. Vegapunk, you're like my role model. I killed two years in your hometown, in Baltimore. After going through your lab, there are still a load of stuff I didn't get a chance to look into. It's the giant mech of my dreams. Just how many times bigger than General Frankie is that? Can't wait to start a show Luffy and Chopper. What a stunning lady. Just a moment. This is the first I've heard of Vegapunk being a woman. And she looks far too young. Vegapunk has been active for many years. Naturally. Who said this was the main stellar body? You're looking at Punko 2. Vegapunk Lilith. In any case, we always run through our research jobs in a jiffy. Uh, sorry, research funds in a jiffy. So we'll allow you to skedaddle if you just relin relinquish your valuables. Wow. Yeah, Nami's not accepting that shit. What? Well, these waters are chilly enough about you being cold too. You just fished us out. What kind of rescue do you call this? Are you deaf? This is not a rescue. Trespassing on these waters is, is nigh impossible. Resist and they will sink you without question. Oh yeah, these freaking sea kings or whatever these are. Robotic sea kings. Take a gander at these weaponized sea beasts. Ah, they just popped out. Weaponized sea beasts. <laughs> That's rad. Yeah, but my fear is overwhelming my awe. <laughs> yeah. Zora doesn't, doesn't look stressed at all, as per. Um, Lilith, what are you doing? Why do you always insist on looting? Have some pride as a scientist. Yeah, cat. Got a sock in it. Can, can your infernal pride keep the lights on? They're the Straw Hat Pirates. The newly dubbed Emperor crew are not going to meekly surrender. Precisely. They must have a heap of treasure stashed away. Even so, you've made a foolish blunder. Blunder? I have them surrounded. Don't underestimate them. Uh, underestimate them. Look at the swordsman. Oh, <laughs> look at the swordsman. That's Pirate Hunter Zoro. His bounty is 1.111 billion. See how calm he is? I'm glad they're paying attention. <laughs> he knows you're in range for him to end you in an instant. Oh, so cold. The same goes for Devil Child Nika Robin back there. But what can they do against all the sea beasts? The strong can appraise their prey and prioritize the most essential targets first. You should have been more cautious. These those imbeciles around them lulled me into a false sense of security. Confound it, I was careless. Hey Vegapunk, there's something I want I want from you, so you better play nice. Got it? No matter. Bring them here. I have an interest in that crew. Logic. Punk 01, Dr. Vegapunk Shaka. So this is the original punk, surely? Uh, as of the chapter, the old man voice is only really evident with Lilith. Okay. Um, so you've been here before? Yeah, when I was still a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, it was still pretty run-of-the-mill lab at the time, though. So, how come you came back? I'm here, Francis. I'll have that bastard's life if I don't like what I hear. Huh? <sighs> they, 
Vegapunk's the one who turned my dad into a cyborg. Whoa, that's awesome. It's not. He's completely lost his sense. Oh, shit. Kuma's has... Wow, Kuma's... That's why she's... She, um... oh, that's why she was a Mary Joyce, and that's why she was obviously so upset over Kuma. Wow. It's not. He's completely lost his sense of self. Y'all don't really look like each other. What does your mum look like? He doesn't even know who he is anymore. He's nothing but a living weapon now. Bro, I hope she actually says that, like, out loud, because Kuma saved the crew's life. That's awful. Yeah, it's unforgivable. Sorry, Bogey. It's Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. We made it to the surface. Let's track down some grub. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. I ran into Samo at Mary Joyce. Whatever. I can spill the beans later. <laughs> Luffy didn't hear that. Great. What is all this stuff? Is that a giant robot? And a space monster? Bro, this is really a futuristic RC. My god. There's all sorts of stuff, all sorts of things here. What in the world? I'll be back after I take one for a ride. Hey, we're infiltrating this place, remember? Gum gum. Take care, Luffy. Rocket. Ah! <laughs> Luffy's being in. I thought this was like a, looks like a ride. It was like an actual dragon. <laughs> Whoosh. Hmm? Oh, it was banana. It's like those uh, crocodile bananas from... Alabaster? Hmm? What? You okay, Lu <laughs> you okay, Luffy? Hmm? I thought I got swallowed, but... Wow, is that a giant parfait? The There's cookies and fruits, too. Look at all the, look at all the cream. Thanks for the meal. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie's a food lover as well. Oh, she'll get along great with Luffy. Hold it, you guys. Why would they leave you... F why would they leave food lying around? This has to be a trap. Oh, Jim Bay has to come in with the logic. <laughs> what the? We went right through it. Wait, is that a hologram? How can, we, how can we see it but not touch it? It's so cruel to make us hungry like that. <laughs> Chopper looks so angry though. Oh crap, did we die earlier and not notice? <laughs> There's no way we're ghosts. I've never seen one before, but this parfait must be a hologram. What the hell is that? <laughs> is that? This ticks me off. It's a 3D image made of light. You see them in comics and science fiction stuff. It's just an image? Oh, the space monster. That's why I went right through it. The giant robot must be one too. No one can make something like that. Well, yes, Vegapunk can. Uh, hey, what's this? All these buttons have pictures on them. Oh, God, sorry. 4 a.m. Um, give up already. Everybody on this island's a sham. That reminds me, weren't the seas around the island freezing? You'd expect this place to have a similar climate, but... Actually, this is a winter island, but the environment is set to tropical mode in here. Wow. With an island aircon invention, you can specify and regulate the temperature of an area right down to the soil. What the hell is this? Oh, it's another punk. It's a big one. Looks like one of those kids from Punk Hazard. This one's as big as Kaido. You're a hollow hollow thing too, right? Nah. Huh? Oh no, this says ha. Huh? huh? Take this. <laughs> this one's a real one, yeah? I'm sorry. Oh, that actually hurt, Luffy? Did it use hacky? Or was that just like comedic effect? Drop. Oh, this is dispensing actual food. Wow, it's got a burger and fries and everything. Oh, Frankie would love this. What? Huh? A hamburger meal and a drink came, uh, came out. Who made it? You can touch it. It's real. So good. Press the next one. Press the next one. Steak. Omurice, rice. Tonkatsu. Cotton candy. Cake. Ramen. Fried chicken. Hot dogs. Well, at least you appreciate my work. That's the unmanned cooking device. It can turn raw ingredients into one of 500 unique dishes in under a minute. Pizza. Pasta. The make-do of what you've got mode is the best. But I can't be too happy since a lack of competent engineers means that this bucket of bolts can't be mass-produced. Is following the blueprints that damn hard? Oh, uh, that'd be cool if it could be mass produced and world hunger if it exists. Um, in the One Piece verse, it really pisses me off. Oh, <laughs> she punched the dragon. Uh, dragon, yeah. Wait, I thought this was a hologram. The island aircon is in the same damn boat. Its sensors can monitor living creatures, and it could tame the weather if we just had a bit more money. These are endless ideas, but not enough resources. She punched a hologram. 
Waffles, fries, shrimp. Oh, waffles, fried shrimp. <laughs> of course, my photogenic gloves make it possible to physically interact with light. Wow. Interesting. Oh, no, photonic gloves, sorry. Hi. Perception shapes your sense of reality, but touching a projected object turns that on its head, doesn't it? Hmm? So that girl isn't real? Depends on what... Wait, depends on what something makes real... Make something real... Or as old as time. It's something you'll have to decide for yourself, but I consider the matter settled. So, just what are you? Me? Just your resident scientific genius for hire. Dr. Vegapunk. What? What the hell? That's a total lie. You're Vegapunk? I've heard that name. Kobe told me about you. Oh, even Luffy's like very serious. New world. So, what now? Oh shit, CP0. Just keep listening, Luchi. Uh, Vegapunk is technically still a single individual, but his genius is second only to his busyness. When there's not enough time, you say that, wait, you say they say you're as bu busy as a beaver, right? Okay. Well, imagine if there were more than one beaver. That was his grand idea, to split up into six people. As I know, in Japanese, the idiom is about cats. In other words, all six of these satellites also are also Dr. Vegapunk. Okay, Dr. Vegapunk, Punk 6, Desire, Yoke, Punk 5, Raph, uh, Atlas, Punk 4, Wisdom, Pythagoras, Punk 3, Fleur, Edison, Punk 2, Evil, uh, Lilith, Punk 1, Logic, Shaga. Oh, no, so the one, the Punk 1 we saw is not Vegapunk. Um, Atlas is number 5 here in the Raw, but here, Address says number 6, we'll update this once Viz clarifies. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, so they seem to have their own kind of personalities. Punk 2, the one we saw, evil. Punk 1 on the phone is logic. And I'm the weird one for thinking that sounds impossible. Geniuses are such a pain. In short, our... Oh, shit. Damn, is that a fucking Nerafim... Uh... Kuma? Damn. Um, in short, our assignment is to return this problem child back to Egghead. Then, while taking care not to damage any of the lab's precious assets, we are to eliminate every last Vegapunk. Damn. Every last one? Wait. Return this problem child back to Egghead. This problem child? Are they referring to the Nerefim Kuma, or...? So I meant to kill the single most useful man in the world. I wonder if this has something to do with the recent Lucia incident. Something with instincts, someone with instincts like yours should know better than to ask these questions or question these things, right? Agreed. Don't get us in any hot water, Lucci. A calculated plan. Damn, so they're really about to kill Vegapunk. Even the, the shit he must know to kill the, like, the most useful man in the world, like they said, as someone that's done obviously so much for the government. Um, including the big boy that's sitting right behind them. Um, damn, that's crazy. I, 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 it's going to be interesting to see more of these uh, Seraphims. Obviously, we know they're based off of all the Warlords, so I'm thinking uh, maybe, the, obviously, if, if there's going to be a buggy one, which would be hilarious, um, if there's going to be a Law and a Jinbei. Um, but what if it goes beyond that, you know? What if there's, there's like, and it's it's horrible to say, but it's definitely possible. What if it um, goes off of the people that, you know, were captured by the government. So what if there's an Ace Seraphim? What if there's a Roger Seraphim? That'd be broken. Um, yeah, this the, it was um, the kid versions of the of the characters as well, I believe. So is this the kid version of Kuma? It does kind of look younger than Kuma, um, but still very big. Shorter. Well, actually, it could be sitting down. I don't know. Um, this could be the kid version. I feel like we've seen the kid version of. Um, Oh, Kuma before in some kind of artwork from Oda. I don't know. Looking too much into that part. But yeah, uh, it, interesting that there are six kind of satellites of um, Vegapunk uh, and then the original. So yeah, it, for some reason, the, the Punk 2 had the kind of old man voice while Punk 01 didn't. Um, or from what we can tell from the manga uh, kind of translations. Um, yeah. That's a very cool looking island. Definitely a new adventure for the crew, which I'm excited for. Uh, and no break next week as well. I love this moment when they were like, 
Do you see that swordsman? Do you see that swordsman right there? You better watch your fucking back before he slices you in half. <laughs> uh, Robin was with the shits as well. I love that. Um, surrounded by these sea beasts. Like, yeah, all literally all Zora would have to do. Slice down uh, Vegapunk 2 first. Um, and then he'd just scare the shit out of the rest of the sea beasts, probably. Uh, yep. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching my reaction. Uh, I really enjoyed this chapter. Looking forward to the next. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out, guys.